Okay, for those who would like to have a go at producing an artificial intelligence LSTM long term short term memory artificial intelligence that is will give you some lot of numbers and you know it might win the odd prize or two tax free cash always good you can always play about with it so let's have a look the beauty of this system is that you can play about with it and try different neural networks and experiment and stuff and then you know if you do win some money on the lot lottery you can use that to fund more experiments you know um and it's miles better at picking lottery numbers than the average joe like me so you import pandas as pd these are the libraries import numpy as np from scikit learn pre-processing import the standard scalar which will turn all your numbers into naught point something so that it will fit nicely into your um, neural network so let's click run and the star means that it's finished operating so we come down here to the interesting bit which is pd panda data frame numpy array and these are the history of the lottery numbers that we're using to put through our neural network so that we can use that as a template to get the next week's prediction based on the history of the lottery which I find from experimentation has worked quite well and generally wins a prize at least more than the average lucky dip or just thinking up a set of random numbers because it's actually based on the previous so we have here a whole set of previous weeks lottery numbers so you can put in any size you want but obviously you've got to experiment so that just means we're putting in six numbers a to f yeah so that's in a data frame so we're going to execute that code now we're going to have a look at the head so there you see look 315.38 3 15, 38 so this is our array of previous cause uh, numbers now we're going to scale it transform it and scale it into not point numbers so that'll just take a bit of time because there's quite a few to be scaled to do, 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 do computers have never worked so hard when they get hold of this kind of uh, neural network <laughs> they haven't they don't know what they don't know what it is they don't know what it means it's taking its time so anyway then we define all our games so number of rows equals all the values set the windows length number of past games we need to take into consideration for the prediction so we're going to be looking at the past seven games and we're going to be using that to um and the ball count the number of features so now we need to create our training set and our labels for each row so that does that I don't whether this will run that doesn't seem to run yeah that's it yeah a bit else run that yeah run that yep that's wrong 
so just double look at our shape there you go 126 seven six our label shape 126 let's have a look at the training data and you notice it's transformed it all into point between one and ten point um, minus one point so our output data then you've got your labels run that labels again now we get down to the interesting bit we're importing from Keras models import sequential we're importing the LSTM dense bi-directional dropout features batch size is a hundred so we run that now we're getting down to the nitty gritty using tensorflow backend that's right so our model is sequential but we're adding a bi-directional lstm with the input shape equal to the six numbers we're putting in and we're returning the sequences true we've got a dropout of like 20 percent then we've got another middle part of our model and again another dropout and then we've got another even middler and then we've got a third and then we go dense before on all the 59 numbers because it's 0 to, to, to 59 it's 1 to 60 the number of features we compile optimize choose our optimizer choose our choose our accuracy metric so it's just working on that so basically you can change this up you don't have to have bi-directional you can remove bi-directional this is all where the main experimentation comes in where you dif choose different types of neural networks that you want to to uh, basically create your big neural network for predicting the lottery numbers then you want to train it i've got 300 epochs there but i'm going to make it 30 so that it don't run forever but you can run up to 5000 epochs and uh, you can see the um the learning rate and the error and the loss as it goes through so this is basically training the neural network model.fit train labels epochs and then we'll be getting on to the prediction so it says you know let's imagine we know the last five games we want to predict the next game well we're telling it to predict from the last seven games but again you can change this about it's all up for our experimentation so then here we've got the predict from the, the last array. These are the last seven. Seven. So it's going to go through. It's giving us some kind of warning. But yeah, these are the last seven games that we've been put there. And then you put scale to prediction. And then your last one is to predict. And there you go. There are your six there are the six um, lottery numbers that is predicted and basically that's all there is to it but like I say you can you should check out the bi-directional one this is more of an advanced neural network for prediction sometimes you'll find that it'll come up with say 51 it's predicted 50 to 52 and, and it, the actual number were 51 so you should look for near misses as well so now it's starting to calculate the epochs and like i say computers have never worked so hard in all the life that's it we're running out of time happy coding